So Justin in the past has uh, expressed his dislike for fighting KB. Uh, K and K Beans is, we talked about it earlier, but K Beans has been on a little bit of a, little bit of a run. Not only like, let me, let me rephrase that. It's a little bit of a hot streak lately. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a good player and he's also playing out of his mind as a player. Yeah. Like he got uh, 25th at um, Stick Drift this weekend. On top of also recently getting sponsored. And you know, after, oh, post PR season as well. Uh, See, in, instead of having that sponsor power down that so many players are known for, he just kind of turned it up. Yeah. It, seems like, it seems like he is a good investment. For sure, for sure. I think, that, I think it's Ace of Cards. Yep, Ace of Cards. Yeah, because yeah, we did stick to the thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. All right, so now the question is really going to be here is how is KB going to approach this matchup? It feels like he wants to stay at arm's length, but he, it, it just feels as though that you're just giving Justin all of these resources. So KB has also expressed his dislike for this matchup, and I cannot blame him. <laughs> this matchup is a bit atrocious. The one thing that... Oh, that's a Shriya stock. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. It doesn't go through the wall. It doesn't go through the wall, but it doesn't even do enough damage to, like, for it to down. make it fast or whatever. Um, it's going to bounce off the block right there. <sighs> yeah, he wanted to go get the up air to catch Steve jumping out of the minecart, but just not quick enough. And Bowser, famously known for having good out of shield options, having to roll away from Steve because they're good, but not it Steve. It comes, good. like, plus. Uh, so apparently, I was like, oh, it's only like minus three or something, or minus one. Not only minus one, you know what I mean? It's minus one, and then. I was corrected by Yanni. He said they can become plus three. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean it can become it's plus? Deep, until it can become, it's the back hit it's of the back Golden, hit, right? The back, well, of Diamond. They're both at the same diamond, safety. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know if it's the same safety, but I do know for Diamond at least. I, I know for, for Gold F Smash. Yeah, that's, Gold F Smash is frame 10. And it's, you can spot dodge and spam F Smash again. But uh, with, uh, that's a really good parry. And it doesn't matter because Why doesn't that work? Well, okay, because there's no front hitbox. I mean, there's not, no back hitbox. There's only a front and a hitbox on. That was a good reactivation. A but good wait. Good no mash, yeah, exactly. And we're going to redo this game? No. King just, size kidnap. Yeah, Justin's just going to take that time to refresh his materials. Cause he, I have realized, like, he, his material management is kind of poor. Yeah, he definitely found himself against Pink Fresh quite frequently, with just absolutely nothing in the back pocket. And just like that, no no iron to be able to try to force way out of the corner. And you didn't get diamond that uh you didn't get diamond that stock, so and you use yours from the first one. It's true, but he's relatively far through the cycle, isn't he? It, it resets every time. Oh it resets every spawn. It I forgot resets, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean he's definitely on the way. He's like more than half right now because No yeah. double jump though. Has to use the elytra, but can't get the two frame though. KB definitely had the right idea. That shouldn't kill it, yeah. And I do love that from KB because there's a lot of traps in that situation because you, as Steve, you're able to charge like a down smash or something, and if they get up attack you, you just tech off the block. Though I will say, you you did point them. this out against in the pink fresh thing, that he doesn't do enough you putting like blocks over the edge to block so the coverage. So this one's actually, it's a bit harder too, uh, to do on this stage. because So there's, like, there's the whole blocks matrix, right? Uh, and on PS2, the ledge actually clips into one of the blocks, so you can't get in the perfect block like to block it off. You can't get it perfectly, meaning that there's like if you can get in between it, which most gauges can, it just doesn't matter. All right, uh, well that's good to know for this stage at the very least. It isn't like just Steve dominant on this. Stage. Yeah, I mean Steve can still do that to some characters, but the way like that Bowser recovers, he's usually going like underneath, underneath and in, yeah. rather than just having to go like directly up or whatever. It's why like. It's a, it's a whole thing. It's very character dependent. So, do you think that we're going to see anything, any kind of a swap here from Justin? Because Justin's been pushed to the brink a couple of times, but he's been sticking with the Steve. There's just been no hesitation going back to this game. Um, I think if he gets, I think if he's getting like pushed to his absolute limit, limit, like we're talking, it's that's a questionable use of materials. Um, if he's if he's gonna get is forced to like in a, he lost gets three stocks this game for instance potentially I don't know I'm pretty sure he didn't go any pilot today it's been all Steve yeah not at all that I could see it, it feels as though he's really just locked in on this character and really wants to commit to it well, so this is he's been he's been grinding this character for a long time this isn't even the first Steve appearance here because he went like two months ago give or take in like January. 
he went Steve, they got like fourth, I think. But he's also, he was also at the time mixing in a little bit of Violet. This time, well, it seems to be the solo. Steve also, Justin died. Like, he didn't he did? get, he didn't, he has like, he has, that was a great recovery from KB. Uh, J Justin has two iron total. Just use a, thir just use a third one. That what a matter, setup, yeah, the, the wall. wall. So, yeah, you can get those untechables, but if you just hold down when you're hitting the wall, it slows your momentum down so much that if you're a big body like okay, Bowser, so, you're... Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the cart does stop. It does get stopped by Flame Breath. Like, it, we just saw that happen. Yeah, the little wind box in the end. Well, no, it just it, it beats it. So, it, like, it... Uh, I, I don't think it'll do it close up, but it, it'll definitely do it, like... Um, not not when you're in it, but it, yeah. like the, the, when it becomes like rapid box. We've seen it multiple times. I just like thought it was a positioning thing. No, it seems like just does. It seems like it just beats it. Like if you if you get like if he's like in any half position. Also, no pick means that yeah you couldn't get you could have got a little bit more off of that, but you didn't. You still got 70. So now the the, <laughs> the main goal here is to just not die before you get to your next diamond, which is gonna be harder said than done because you, you have to try to deal with the F to that ledge. Um. No tech on the block, yeah. Uh, yeah, good retreat. Right there. And then you gotta... Just do it again, yeah. And then you gotta take the time to mine again, so... And we're seeing how hard Justin is struggling to get off that. But that's just... No, not gonna take it. They're going for side B. And there is your diamond, so you're... Now you're kinda chill. Like, yeah, you're actually, at the point where... KB's still at 100, uh, like, 114, which isn't, like, battering, but Justin has been playing at 100% for a long time. He's, uh, so it's like I don't. He's, I don't like that right yeah, there. Yeah, see, it just beats it. Uh, I wonder. Actually, no. It probably just straight up. Yeah, it just beats it, even when you're in the cart. Back to a sweet spot. Not gonna do it. Still, Bowser. He was so close, though. Bowser is so heavy. Yep. Which is like, thank God they didn't kill Bowser. Like amidst, like you know, at 100, like 37 after the hit. But sure. still, the fact that we're so used to it doing that, and it didn't. That's dead. <laughs> Yes, so great dead. call out. Yep. Catching K-Bean, trying to minecart out of the corner, and that's just one sin, one vice that uh, I just got to clean up. <laughs> yeah. Every Steve really Every Steve has it. Uh, another thing to I just remember, Justin said that the last that they played was game three. It was the best of, in a best, best of three. It was, it was like game three. Um, I, the, only, the only set I can recall was the one at SmashCon, but yeah, we're going to see Lila. So do you think that Byleth actually gives you more of a edge in the matchup, or is this more of a mental thing? More definitely about, I'm fighting K-Bean, and I know how to fight K-Bean with Byleth more than Steve. Definitely a bit more of a mental thing, I feel like. I think it's, it's Steve, right? That character... He wins. Minimum top two in the game. And it's very dependent on who you ask. Uh, but By Byleth does rather well into, like, heavies. Because uh, it's a big body. You you have tipper moves that can... can do quite a bit for you, and you have out of shield options, which is like Steve has them, right? But they're not, they're not by the up yet a shield options. Yeah, in addition, you don't have to necessarily cross up this character shield too frequently. Like, if you're if Kaven's gonna be relying on out of shield, yeah, rapid jab. But yeah, uh, oh, that's that questionable DI too. Wasn't he sub 70? Like, that was well, okay. So, that move is strong, it that is. move is strong. Uh, <laughs> Bowser Fair also is like one of the most untalked about. Like it's not not broken, but really really good moves in the game. It's just Wolf Fair on a super heavy. Move. It's it's the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Because <laughs> it hits directly above, directly in front, and directly below. That's an unfortunate timing. Yeah, you might as well when that move is coming out versus you. Can be able to, yeah, can be able to get a punish on that flame breath. Thank God he didn't get up into that though. I've well, seen Justin was, Biles steal too many stocks. With he him. was calling that out, like the jump too, because that does cover a de decent bit of positioning. Should have a jump still. Yeah, you able to make. It. I thought uh, I, I got hit with that. Oh, we're trying to. That's, I don't think he had a jump. No, he, he, he jumped to, to get off the ledge. That is an unfortunate tech flub right here. So now Justin has to play perfectly. That we there's no time for any kind of an error. Yeah, and that's. Sabi shouldn't take it. Oh, what a well. call out, though. Can we talk about that? The dash in, dash out to force a jump out of the corner. Kabin loves those aerial side beasts so much, and he will be like we've seen. He'll go for it. Yeah, just you also see Justin the, uh, just slightly tilted. Just, just a little just bit <laughs> jumping out of his chair, a little bit tilted, shaking his head a bit. <laughs> no, but uh, we 
I mean, you were talking about how it just has played perfectly. Oh, that's that's a stock. Yeah, yeah, but you're, it is not you were just talking about how Justin had to play perfectly, and he got hit once in that stock, and then and tilted off the cliff. Tilted off the cliff. And that's gonna be KB versus Dex with the the sponsor power up sponsor. for grand finals. That is one way to punch your ticket. That is one way to do that. KB <laughs> already popping off. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely ecstatic, taking a moment to walk it off and consider his options. Dex are kind of just like smiling here. It's like, you know what, you, you were looking pretty good there, but were you looking beating number one, the DMV good? Uh, number one seed. Number probably. one seed, yeah. It's really funny because in the last PR, Oolong was seeded first. Yep. I mean, not seeded, he was first on it. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been a local that both the two of them have been at. Well, I think there's a homecoming actually, but uh, there wasn't a tournament where they were both at, at least locally, that didn't have. Uh, Dex up still above Oolong in seeding, because <laughs> Dex just doesn't lose to Oolong. No, it's it's a it's a bad matchup, and o Oolong, and of course you yeah. as well. Like everybody says, it's a bad matchup, but also it's kind of a Dex thing. He just knows that De matchup. Very getting well. off the ledge, getting off the ledge versus Dex is harder than like a test that you haven't studied for. <laughs> True. It's it, it basically is a test that you have. It's like damn, these if, multiple choices got hands. It yeah, it feels like a test you haven't studied for. Um, and yeah, and that's just Dex. Dex is really good at punishing like mistakes from ledge or just the slightest misstep on your things. You're, you're taking a across. It feels like a cross full stage back here yep. because of Wolf's drift. But uh, Dex also sucks versus heavies. He does have a lot of problems with just falling into the big hitboxes of big bodies. And but he he did win against KB in winners. I think it was a three-one. I believe so. Yes. I'll double check that on my side, but I think that you are dead on with 